don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Trust us, it'll be worth it. Thank you. What is up, everyone? I'm Chris Knight, and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with DC Fandom Week 2021. Yes, we did this last year, and over the past weekend, DC and Warner Brothers released all sorts of information on their live stream, DC Fandom. Now, there was some new stuff that we saw. There was some stuff that they were talking about last year during the DC Fandom Week, and all this stuff has come back, and we've got new trailers and things to discuss, so we're going to do that, and we're going to start where surprisingly we started last year, which is Gotham Knights. Now, Gotham Knights is an upcoming action role-playing video game based on the DC Comics character Batman and his supporting cast. It is developed by Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and it was due for release this year, but is now set to be released in 2022 on Windows, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Now, the basic premise of this game is that it's set in Gotham City after the death of Bruce Wayne, Batman, and Police Commissioner James Gordon, which has resulted in a rise in crime and lawlessness. Now, players must assume the role of Batman's former protégés, Dick Grayson as Nightwing, Barbara Gordon as Batman, Tim Drake as Robin, and Jason Todd as Red Hood. Now, they attempt to continue his legacy by protecting Gotham upon receiving a pre-recorded message from Batman himself. During the game, the heroes encounter several supervillains, including the Court of Owls and Mr. Freeze, and I believe the Penguins in this also. And the supporting characters include Bruce Wayne's former butler, Alfred Pennyworth, and police captain, Renee Montoya, one of the few honest cops left in the city. Now, uh, this also, as it was said last year, they were uh, DC, uh, or I should say Warner Brothers Games Montreal, was previously developing and developed Batman, Arkham Origins, and uh, I believe Ar basically most of the Arkham series. This supposedly, though, is a completely separate story and completely separate from all of those. So we're going to have to see how that works. Um, so let's go look at it right now and see what we think of this new trailer. You guys know how we do this. Let's get the headset on. All right. And three, two, one, reaction. Now, I had said it last year that I wouldn't be surprised if Bruce Wayne faked um, his death to watch from afar to see how uh, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood handled the crime and how they worked together or lack thereof of working together. Um, but I do wonder now if they're going to actually show the death of Batman or Bruce Wayne. Always watching. Always listening. Now, this is more about Court of Owls, which is really something we hardly explored in anything that's uh, but no one talks the games or the movies. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> They're listening. Hmm. I mean, and this is all cinematic, so it looks really awesome. We have yet to see anything about gameplay. I mean, so that bothers me that last year they said it was going to be out this year, and now they're saying, nope, next year. So I'm wondering if they're focusing more on just the Court of Owls now. And, you know, if that's why there's some redirection in it. But um, last year's video was great, the cinematics of it. This year, this one looks great too. You know, there's action scenes here and there's things like that, but if you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. It almost looks like their work, like the penguins giving them information, like not not against them. So that was kind of interesting too. So, I mean, let's talk about it for a second. So the, the problem here is really that um, without any sort of gameplay or game mechanics shown at all, we're still stuck in this perpetual what's going on with this game. 
Um, last year, they showed us uh, the like pre-recorded clip of Bruce Wayne and saying, hey, guys, you're going to have to do this on your own or uh, something like that. I'd have to go back and watch the video I did last year. This year, we get a little more. We get the Court of Owls. We get a lot of cool-looking stuff, but it's still just these, um, you know, in-between scenes, the, uh, the cut scenes that you see in games. And it looks great. And that's the easy part, I think, to do when they come down to this. It's the game mechanics, the gameplay, all of those things that are in between there that really make a game. And the story is just there to add to it and help move it forward. The game mechanics suck or they're clunky and they don't really play well. And you just don't care about that story. That story is there to pull you in deeper. But if all everything else, the game again, the game mechanics, the gameplay, all of that, if all of that takes you out of that, it, it never works together then. They both have to work together. And the problem with being announced last year and due for release this year is that now they have changed it from due out this year to now due out next year. And let's say that's three to six months behind. <clears throat> we should have a little thing, a little something more. We should have some idea of the game mechanics and stuff, but we don't. So by not having that, as much as I think this game will be awesome, because you get to play as four different uh, characters, uh, you know, Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood, and Nightwing. The, the chance to either play as all four at different times or pick one and play through it and then pick the other one and play through it, maybe have different cutscenes for each one, however they do it. The idea behind that is beautiful and it's excellent. I, I mean, it, I love DC Comics, so this is just so great. And their games have been really good for the most part. So. I'm just kind of on this precipice of I'm really excited about this game, but I'm concerned also. So we'll see what happens. We got about, like I said, three to six months before this probably comes out or before we get more information about it. I mean, they didn't give us an actual date next year. So I always say probably about three months after the first of the year is normally when they come out and say it's due out that year. It's normally around March or so. But let me know what you guys thought about this, this new look at Gotham Knights, and let me know if you're concerned about this. I know several other people that I talk to in the community are, and they've kind of sat there and gone like, I don't know, man, I'm just tired of talking about this. Let's just see what happens, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. And with that said, guys, as always, I am Chris Knight. This is The Real Review 3000. I'm officially out of here. Please remember to like, subscribe, and never forget to ring that bell. Follow Chris Knight and The Real Review 3000 on these platforms. For email and Patreon, see the description box below. To reach The Ego, use the Twitter handle at The Ego 5150. We would like to thank the generous members of The Real Review 3000. Those members are Jesse Ritchie, JJ, aka Sithlord3827, Lady Tariel, Yvette, Abraham Morales, and Anzo of Bigger Ford Entertainment. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For more information on how to become a member, click the join button below.